Your other statues may find targets on their heads. Here's a look at the Diamond Select Premier Collection Bullseye Resin Statue. A remorseless assassin, the man known to most as Bullseye is one of the most infamous and sought-after mercenaries around. Though cruel and unstable, Bullseye's perfect aim ensures that his client's targets are always eliminated, a trait often exploited by his frequent employee, the ruthless Kingpin. With a relentless capacity for malice, Bullseye frequently targets his nemesis Daredevil, not just striking at the man without fear himself, but also his loved ones. This approximately 9-inch tall resin statue of Bullseye is based on his comic book appearance and features a high level of detail in exacting paint applications. It is limited to only 3,000 pieces. Just before we set our sights on the Premier Collection Bullseye resin statue, let me just throw out a thank you and hope it hits the target. Thanking the folks, of course, of course, over at Diamond Select that did take the time and provide this sample of a very limited run Bullseye resin statue, limited at only 3,000 copies worldwide. If you guys are interested to get this one for yourself, it's available right now in specialty stores, comic book stores, and again online. But the chances of grabbing this guy if you wait too long may be slim to none, as again, it's only 3,000 copies. I'm going to grab my tape measure and I'm going to measure this guy. I'm going to measure him from the end of the Ace of Spades to the end of the base. That seems to be the width of the statue. Based on that, you're looking at the statue of, of Bullseye being about 12 and a half inches in length. Or to flip that around, you're looking at the statue being about, I would say, 31 and a half centimeters wide. Then to the top of the base, or top from the base to the top of the, the statue's head, you're looking then at Bullseye being about 9 inches in height. Or the, the statue in this case is 23 centimeters tall. As it always is the case with these resin statues, you do get yourself a certificate of authenticity. And not only is this one a limited run of 3,000 copies, but normally there would be a number right here next to the number. This is likely an artist proof that was provided. This certificate of authenticity once again does state that this is an authentic Diamond Select Premier Collection Bullseye Resin Statue. I may have even mentioned in other reviews of these statues that I always tend to like to display the statues along with their certificate of authenticities. I would certainly make the recommendation also as well that if you are the same kind of person that likes to do that, don't put it anywhere near a window. Anything that has a sunlight, for example, sunlight does shine down, of course, on these certificate of authenticities. And not only will these fade, but it may also then start to affect the ink that's printed here next to the number. Let's try to not keep these out on display in front of a sunlight source. Move that to the side. Along with the statue, though, and actually, in fact, on the bottom of the statue, carefully flipping this up, of course, that this is resin after all. Underneath, you would also have that same number out of the sequence of 3,000. Again, it happens just to be blank in this case. This indicates, once again, that it's a Bullseye Premier Collection resin statue, limited edition run out of 3,000 copies, and treated onto the corners or somewhat corners of an oval-shaped display base. You do get yourself rubberized feet, not only to prevent scratching on surfaces, but again, to also prevent that number from wearing away. If you're sliding this around on your, stand, your standing shelf, there is always the risk, of course, that that number can wear away in the process. These feet also do just lift the statue base just enough giving you enough clearance that if you happen to do, are one that likes to move your statues around from time to time you're not going to then in the process rub that number away as for though the base itself it seems to be made of almost like a marble like finish where they have sponged on different shades of gray darker and lighter gray with a few little fragments of stones all around this although looking at the condition of the flooring it doesn't look like any bit of the flooring has been disrupted Possibly these tiny little boulders have come from another source, but you can see that there's several different sizes, shapes, and otherwise you can see there's a larger one here at the back, almost by Bullseye's boots. The largest, though, being the one here on the front that he happens to have his boot rested on top of. And again, you've got some really nice marbling of that darker and lighter gray. Here, though, on the front, it appears that Bullseye's been doing some target practice with the sight in mind of having Daredevil being his target. You can see that there are a few little holes here. I'm not quite sure how he's actually drawn out the man without fear, whether he's actually drawn it with crayon, marker, or perhaps somebody else's blood. I do like the look of this quite a lot. It's a very large block, and of course, one thing about this too, as I bring this back just a little bit so you guys can actually see, the way they've posed Bullseye, while I do, do think it looks good, I think I feel as if the leg is maybe stretched too far back. It really is giving an exaggerated pose to the way that Bullseye is perched on top of this. My only real guess is that he's not actually posed 
ready to be displayed. But in fact, it looks like he's actually ready to leap off the boulder. And maybe that's one of the reasons why his leg is as straight back as it actually is. The coloring on the boots themselves, if we can get a closer look at that, isn't simply just the white that you expect to see. In fact, what they've also done here as well is they've airbrushed on some additional blue, which does look quite nice. It really does also help to break up a lot of white is on the classic costume of Bullseye, it is a bit primarily an all-black suit with a lot of little white things like boots, gloves, and of course little accent pieces that he has on the top of his torso. But I do like the fact that they've added a little bit of blue because I think white would have been just too stark alone. They've also added some nice panel lining there also for the black as well. On the side, though, he does have a holster, although it doesn't look like he's holstering anything. Maybe perhaps ammunition, or unless he's already drawn the gun that was inside of that. But again, like the boot itself, it isn't just simply white. It looks like they've added a, they've afforded a little bit of blue or a little bit of almost pearl coloring added to that as well. The back of the boot, poised a little bit more for ready to be leaping, does look like it's got some additional blue also on the undersoles of the boots as well. It is, again, a really nice looking statue. But again, I almost feel like, again, like it's stretched really exaggerated. But again, if I can base it off the idea that he's leaping off of this and not necessarily posed ready for battle, then I think it makes a little bit more sense. Spin this around carefully so you can certainly see the front face here of Bullseye. I like this look of Bullseye. He looks so insanely crazy. You can see the big smile on his face. I love that. Also, as well, he's got very large eyes. The painting that they've used, of course, he gives, gives him a little bit more of a darker sort of flesh tone to it, but it certainly helps to make the eyes pop as well as the mouth and the teeth. He does have, again, that classic looking suit. So along with that gets the little target spiral that he has on the top of his head. Again, he has that same sort of idea also on his chest as well, partially of a bullseye. You can see the, the stripes of white and again, some panel lining of black in the middle of it. And in this case, Bullseye is holding not just one card, but several cards behind him as well. The one to the front here is the Ace of Spades. Those, the ones to the back, though, are again still aces, but of different suits. There's hearts, there's clubs, and likely there's diamonds in between the two. Again, you've got some really nice use of additional blue added in there as well. I think, again, the thing about Bullseye being so simple of a suit, it really does need a lot of extra color. And I think, if again, if Diamond Select had simply just used straight white on, on the backdrop of black, I think it would have just been a little bit too unfinished almost. But by adding, again, that little bit of blue and adding those accent colors, I think is really where the, the statue does shine. Again, you've got some nice sculpting there on the back of his body. Musculature is always one thing that Diamond Select does really well when it comes to these resin statues. And again, when it comes to Bullseye, he's no exception. I do like also the way that the cards are bringing in some much needed red. You can see the back of the cards, for example, have the printing of the card faces or the opposite sides of the cards faces. And I do think that the red does bring in some necessary color because if not for that, you really do get a statue that's mostly all gray. And then you've got a character that's poised on top of it, mostly all dressed in black with a few little accents of white. All in all, it's a great looking statue. If anything, I would say the one thing about the statue is I wonder how it would have looked if they had taken the block here and just moved it back ever so slightly. I wonder if it maybe does make his leg a little bit straighter, maybe too straight. But really, if you follow the form of the leg, the leg goes right then into the, mo the motion of the shoulders. So I think it's accurate. It's just not a character. When you think of generally a bullseye or you think of really any character posed as a statue, you tend not to get one that's as, as exaggerated as this. But I got to say, like, it does look good. And it's certainly a character, if I could believe a character would be posed like this, bullseye would be one, would be a villain. I could certainly see being displayed like this in a statue form. So breaking down the numbers and giving you guys a little bit of 411. When Diamond Select first initially released the Premier Collection Bullseye Resin Statue, I believe the statue was going for 175 US dollars. Since then, of course, and considering that the statue is limited to only 3,000 copies after all, the price may have gone up just a little bit if you're trying to track one down for yourself. I would certainly say don't wait on this. It's a great looking statue, especially if you like the classic look to Bullseye. And even if you go to your local comic book store and they don't happen to have it right now, you can always ask the person that's working at the desk if they can order one in for you. I've done that a couple of times with my local stores. I didn't happen to find the statue on the shelves, but I did ask them if they were able to order one in and it took about three or four weeks to get that specific statue in. And I was able to order it that way. It's a lot easier, especially when it comes to resin statues, I would say to order them locally. Because if you ever, ever happen to have anything damaged on the statue, I've had that happen also as well. You can always go back and take it back to the local comic book store as opposed to trying to find a way to ship it back to the online site if you happen to order it online instead. 
One thing I would certainly also say about the Premier Collection Bullseye statue, maybe not even mentioned in the review, is be very careful when you are taking this guy out of his out of his styrofoam tray. Simply just because the cards that are in between his fingers are like that when you take them out of the packaging. You don't actually have to add the cards to his fingers. And they were the the way they were wrapped inside of a bag, uh, the cards themselves, if you were to quickly take the bag off, it could snag against one of those cards and snap them. And again, because they're made of resin, you don't want to have any one of those cards break. Knock on wood, they haven't broken yet on the statue. So again, if you guys are interested to get the statue for yourself, just be careful when, he, when you are first taking it out of the box. Once again, though, a big, big thank you to the folks over at Diamond Select that did provide this sample of the Premier Collection Bullseye Resin statue that we could have a look at this review. Again, if you guys are interested to check out more from Diamond Select, I can also provide the link down below to Diamond Select's YouTube channel. It's a good way to get a sneak peek as to the stuff that's coming to your local stores and online giving you sort of a VIP treatment to, again, all the stuff that the company is planning to produce. If you guys are interested, I'll put the link down below in the video description. Also, as well, if you guys enjoyed this video, I want to throw it a like. If you guys are loving the content that you're seeing on this channel and certainly want to stick around for more, then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and you're also turning on the bell notification. We will buy, by the way, FYI, we'll be looking at a couple more resin statues courtesy of the folks over at Diamond Select. So if that's the kind of thing you like to come back to this channel for, make sure, yes, you're coming back to this channel on a regular basis. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.